Uh, welcome to the Boss Covert Training. Uh, my name is Olo Dukonyedi and I'm your host. Uh, today we'll be talking about how to design the Boss Covert using Prota Detail. Prota Detail, not Prota Structure. When you open, open Prota Detail, this is how it will, it will look like. So you click on New Project. You say boss covered, boss covered, or whatever name you want to name the project with. You click import, okay? So give it some time for it to come up. Okay, once it pops, click on start by creating new drawing. So when you are on this page, this is where you now use to do your design. If you put your cursor here, you see covered, click on it. When you click on it, it will come up. So with this, it will show you how your covert will look like this is your covert and these are the wing walls these are the wing walls so um, ai is your inlet is your in inlet angle and uh, ao is your outlet angle and every other thing the outlet elevation so this is how your 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 structure will look like so with this you can design any parts you want so with this one this is the longitudinal section as in the the length of your covert the length of your covert which implies the length of your covert implies the road width the shoulders and whatever space available that the 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 road you you need water to be crossing through the road so this becomes the length of the road the length of the road so uh, depending on what you are doing depending on what you want to do you can either do a 7.3 meter road with um, with one one meter walkway one one meter walkway so you have um, you have maybe 8.3 meter or eight whatever the length is and all this we leave them at at um, the default the default of um, all this we can change it whatever your length is this is where you need to change your length so with this we can now change our length or let's leave it at eight thousand so whatever you do you know your length of your of your covert do it so but we are using this if you come to the cross section this is the cross section of the area and also there's there's a there's a trick here there's a trick here that you need to to pay attention also here tells you the number of china that <coughs> that you'll be using so if you say this this is this is two cell if you push another one it gives you three cells like that but right now we'll be doing just a single cell a single cell um, so there's a trick here I want us to pay attention to uh, if you get this you can design any structure um, 
for the thickness of your of your culvert please pay attention this is very important the empirical way of getting the thickness the empirical way of getting the thickness of your culvert would be 0 0.1 times the height of the culvert please pay attention to this very important for you to know if you are doing a three meter high culvert in to in it becomes 0 0.1 times the internal distance the internal um, sorry the the height the height of your culvert 0 0.1 times the height of your culvert so if we are doing a three meter by three meter um culvert we'll do 0 0.1 times 3000 mm so it will give us 300 tick rand so we are doing top 300 bottom 300 with 300 so this is how you arrange them then these are the the channels that you need to determine so with all this uh, we can leave it that way most of them we can we can leave it that way so uh, if we talk about our head wall this is the you can determine how you want your head wall to be your cutting wall how do you want your cutting wall to be your wing wall this is your wing wall how do you want it to be your end slab how do you want it to be so with this this is this is where you 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 determine all this so once you once you've done all that once you've done all that by making sure that uh, they've all be done they've all be done you cannot say uh, detail um, the the work so with with this it automatically details the work it automatically details the work so, so we with this uh, total detail we give you the how the framework of the of the bus covert would be like if we want to um, create orange orange here and there's a an empirical formula for that most time the thickness you you do an orange at the distance of the thickness so here you can do 250 or 300 close to this is how you do your orange so that it can take more stress with this if you create your orange here it will it will it will give the the covert more strength to carry to carry the load so because there will be a lot of stress if let's assume this is like this you find out that there will be a lot of stress but in creating this orange it gives it more resistance to to carry it so um this is how you can detail the framework of your of your um covert the framework of your covert why the reinforcement of the of the um the reinforcement of the covert will be done in the in the cost in the um, bus covert cost that uh, we'll be doing after this so once again i hope uh, you gained something from this video please let us know um, let us know so that we can know how to give you the other parts of the training thanks remain blessed